<laughs> but for sure, uh, uh, what I said to my, uh, my my players was, uh, and we finished uh, in uh, in a fantastic way, and we have to restart in the same way. And I ask this because uh, don't forget that uh, we were enjoying the play uh, to play football in uh, in the way that we we played in the before the international break, and today. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very happy because uh, uh, I have seen uh, uh, a strong team, despite the difficulty. Don't forget that uh, to play against Newcastle uh, is not easy, and um, their plan was very, very clear. No, and to stay to defend very deep, and then to exploit uh, players uh, um, like uh, uh, Sam Maximin and. Uh, uh, and the Fraser for the counter attack. Um, we were uh, one nil down, and uh, this is another positive uh, uh, thing that I have seen because, uh, despite this, I have seen my my team focused and uh, with calm, with patience, with the resilience, and uh, uh, we have drawn one one, and then in the second half we played. Uh, you know, mm, it was it was good, no, to to score the second goal because then uh, Newcastle uh, uh, w was forced to uh, to play and uh, and also to to concede a bit of space. Um, to score five goals is good for us. It's not the the first time, and uh, in the last period, I think that we are creating many many chances to score, and we are scoring a lot. I'm enjoying to. Mm, to see my team to play in this uh, in this way because uh, I'm seeing great improvement in many aspects, under tactical aspect, under technical aspect, uh, in the mentality. Um, yeah, now we have to continue in this way, mm, to continue this way, and uh, I'm happy especially for for the players because when you work hard, and then uh, you want to to see the result about your work, and then. Uh, I think uh, that the players uh, uh, they are enjoying they are enjoying to to play in this way and uh, also to dominate uh, uh, the game and uh, to create uh, uh, all this situation to win the game. But I, I was, uh, I was always very honest, no, with uh, with the media and also with uh, with the club, but also with the players. And uh, when I arrived in uh, in November, and uh, uh, I found uh, one type of situation, and uh, at that time it was very difficult to believe in uh, in. Uh, to, mm, to yeah to be in, in the race now for for the Champions League because uh, uh, usually when uh, when you change uh, manager during the season it means that uh, there are difficulty and uh, for sure I I found uh, situation to to improve and I was very clear uh, with with the media from from the first time that I spoke with you but. Now and uh, I think uh, is uh, uh, in the last period, I was clear that I have seen my team uh, that now is uh, is in the race, is in the race be because I have seen great uh, improvement. Uh, if if the player uh, bring himself in uh, another level and. Uh, it means that the, the 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 team is going to to be strong, to be stronger than before. Uh, for sure, we know very well that uh, in this uh, in this race uh, there are other teams that maybe uh, they are uh, in this moment uh, they they have uh, uh, advantage, and uh, I think Arsenal Arsenal has to play two games, no. But don't forget the United, <laughs> this an amazing squad. Don't forget West Ham. And also Wolverhampton is, um, is having a fantastic uh, season. 
and this league is very very difficult and uh, but I'm happy because uh, hard work is uh, is paying is paying off and uh, this is very important for the players because uh, the players uh, uh, I, I have found a group of players that give me great availability a great commitment a great uh, behaviors and uh, they give me credit no they give me credit about for my past I think <laughs> for my career but uh, I think that now they are understanding that this is the right way and uh, but they trusted me and uh, I, I trusted uh, to to them Yeah, but, but now, now for, for sure, uh, you can uh, you can see uh, a team that uh, a specific characteristic, and uh, you can uh, you rec you can recognize that your football, and uh, um, for this reason, uh, I said that uh, we are in the race uh, for uh, to try no? to to take a place in the Champions League. Because in, in this moment, in this moment, the team is a team. It's a team with uh, an idea of football. Every single player knows very well what happened during the game and uh, what they have to do. Uh, the players that came in, and, um, and today, for example, uh, uh, we lost uh, on Friday. We lost uh, um, Young, Sergio Reguillon for uh, for an injury in his, his knee. And uh, we have found the, the solution no? and uh, to to play with uh, Matthew on the left and uh, Emerson on the right. Great performance uh, for both. It means that there is uh, uh, great work behind uh, under tactical aspect and uh, under physical aspect because you can see that this team big intensity from the start until the end. And uh, this is good uh, because I have a uh, a great staff behind me that work with the players. But now, <laughs> yeah, uh, we uh, we have to be happy also tomorrow, but uh, then uh, from Tuesday, uh, when we start to, to work, we have to think uh, an important game against Aston Villa. It won't be easy to go there and uh, to, to take a good result. But we have uh, eight games, eight finals for us, and uh, every every game, it would be very important to get points and to continue to dream to finish in uh, in Champions League this season. Charlie. Yeah, but mm, when uh, when uh, you see uh, uh, the whole team, no, the whole squad, uh, are so well involved in this project, and uh, uh, this make me proud because uh, it means that they believe uh, in in the work, and uh, despite uh, sometimes, and uh, um, you decide uh, uh, the start eleven. And the other, they go on the bench. Maybe uh, someone uh, can uh, can deserve to play, but um, at the same time, they uh, they understand. No? They understand that uh, now we are trying to create a squad, a strong squad, and uh, to have Steven Birgwin, uh, Lucas Mora on the bench. It means that during the game, you can. Uh, you have uh, two players that can change the game, especially if you are down or you need to win. And uh, yeah, and uh, also, also also Winks, you know, and uh, today and uh, he came in and uh, Winks, they, they have to play. But you know that uh, Betancourt and uh, uh, Pierre Robier, uh, they are playing in an amazing way. But, um, 
Uh, if to consider this, uh, it was a pity don't stay in uh, other competitions because uh, if you are involved in other competition, you can give uh, uh, more space no, to this player that they, that they deserve. But don't forget also Jorodon uh, that uh, improved a lot from my, uh, from November until now. Uh, um, yeah, every single player is improving a lot. N now, for example, and uh, Sanchez uh, that before played every game, now he's not playing because uh, we found uh, a good balance with Romero, Dyer, and Davis, but not because uh, he doesn't deserve to play. But in this moment, uh, they are playing very well. But to know that if happen an injury, and one of these three, three central defenders, to have uh, Jorodon or, or, um, or Patron Sanchez behind, make me uh, happy. Okay, we've only got time for two more, so we'll go gentlemen in the red jacket and then Luke, please. Good evening. Uh, we, are, we are talking. Uh, uh, we are talking about a player that uh, I know. I know him very well because uh, uh, he played in Italy. And uh, he played. Uh, he started to play with Atalanta, and, uh, and then uh, Atalanta um, brought him all on in Parma, and he played in Serie A. And, uh, he played uh, in a fantastic way. That uh, when I was the coach of uh, Inter, I tried to ask him, but then uh, Juventus moved before. Maybe <laughs> they put <laughs> more money than us at the, at the time, and then uh, they uh, they bought this uh, this player. We are talking about a player that is only 21, 22, two years old, and uh, he has to continue in uh, to play in this way because he's strong physically, he's a, a, a big engine, and uh, he's good technically. I think that uh, for uh, for Tottenham, this is a great sign. Uh, this is a great sign for the present and for the future because uh, we are talking about uh, really, really okay. strong. But also Rodrigo Betancourt, El Pedas, no? And uh, I say that with these two players, and despite we missed, uh, and we lost, sorry, we lost four players in, uh, in January, with uh, these two new signs, we we made this uh, squad more complete, with more balance. And uh, yeah, I think that uh, it's very important in football to, to have the idea clear and, uh, and to have a good vision, and because in this, uh, in this way, uh, the situation is more simple. It's Luke, do you want to finish this off? But honestly, and uh, um, when the game uh, uh, has finished, and uh, I went uh, uh, into the pitch and to uh, to ask my my players, and uh, uh, I really said uh, I, I am disappointed only for one thing: that today you didn't score because you played uh, an amazing game, and. Uh, um, yeah, it's very, it's very difficult not to describe uh, this, uh, this player. I think that uh, um, I'm happy, I'm happy for him because we are talking about a world-class striker. He deserves uh, the best because uh, um, he's a great worker, hard worker, and. Uh, this is not normal. Eh? This is not normal because usually the player that have a talent many times don't like to work hard <laughs> because they have talent. Yeah, in my career, I, I didn't have a great talent, and for this reason, I work hard. But uh, what uh, I liked him from the first time was uh, um, his uh, availability and. Um, 
Uh, he was a, a big example for uh, for uh, um, his teammates. When you see him uh, to work in this way, and for sure, uh, you uh, you have the desire, you have the desire to, to continue to, to to work and to to work very hard. And uh, for this reason, uh, I want to tell uh, him thanks because he's always uh, a big example for everything. And I hope. Uh, to to give him satisfaction. I think that now he's enjoying to to play this type of football, and we have to try to to continue together because um, um, I repeat, uh, I'm, I'm seeing many many players uh, great improvement, and uh, also about to Pierre Oyberg. Uh, no one asked me about him, but I think that uh, in uh, every game uh, uh, he's doing a fantastic job. With the ball, without the ball, and uh, he's strong physically. Every player is improving and uh, is improving his level. And uh, for this reason, uh, Tottenham is going uh, up and up. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.